how to draw nested rounded rectangles. So in this case we have what say could be a, a card design on our iPhone app and that's with this shape and I want to draw a button inside of it. So this card has a 10 pixel radius and so we'll just first draw the button with that same default radius. I have some guides in place to help me hit um, a 5 pixel edge on the button. So let's do that. Set it to a nice blue. It's kind of a default. And there we go. If you zoom out, you realize that these corners don't look quite right. Something is wrong about them. And what it is, is that you can't use the same radius for the outside that you use for the nested inside one. Your inside radius needs to be decreasing as you go back. And I'll show you how to find what exactly that radius should be. So what we're going to do is draw a circle here and just get it fairly close. But we, we know since our radius for the outside was 10 pixels that the width and height of my circle needs to be 20 pixels since that's exactly double. And then what I want to do is zoom in nice and far and just nudge this over using the arrow keys and having free transform open just to make sure that we're drawing on whole pixels. Okay, that looks good. So now we'll set this to black just to show what it should be. And then I'm going to um, press Command T to bring up free transform and hold down the shift key while dragging in, oops, hold down shift and option while dragging in from one of the corners. And what I want to do is just drag in till I match up with the lines from our other border, uh, our other button. Once those match, you can see that's actually the radius that I want. If I set that to the color, you can zoom out. And that's a radius that looks nice, ignoring this extra bit of stuff. So now we need to figure out what radius that actually is. Um, so I have a new rounded rectangle here, and you can just try out some values to try to get to try to hit that same spot. In this case, I actually know in advance that it's five pixels uh, of a ra of a radius, but you can just play around with the values till you get it right. So now I can draw my new button with a nice five pixel radius, and that looks much better. That's actually what the radius should be, rather than just what it defaulted to.